Hi, my name is Steve Sturm. I've been the director of maintenance since 1992, taking care of heating, air conditioning, plumbing, electrical, anything that had to do with the building. I wanted to try to teach my grandson and take him in and show him just how simple that it can be to save some money. Hi, my name is Sky Nees. I am 16 years old. I do not know how to take care of a house, so today my grandpa will be showing me. I'm going to show you how to change the filter in the furnace for the house. And the first thing that you do is you go to the thermostat, turn it off, and done. All right, that's it. This is your furnace. And one of the things that you have to do is, can you tell me where the filter even is? Did you even know it had a filter? No, I actually didn't. <laughs> okay, first thing you do is you get the junk out of the way. And then I'm gonna give you a clue. The air comes in here, goes through the system and out to the house. It's way down here. All right, now you have to have some tools to get into this because, well, this is gonna be a screwdriver or a nut driver in order to take that screw out and that screw out over there. Now, before we open it up, we're gonna go ahead and shut it off here. The system has not shut off, so we're gonna turn both the breakers off. Turn one off and turn the other one off. That shuts the fan down, it gets quiet where we can talk. Now take this and pull this piece off if you can. It's a little stuck that you can go ahead and there. That's it. Now just set that off to the side there and look inside. Before you take anything out, you want there's an arrow on the filter. Can you see that arrow? Yeah, right here. Which way it's going? Up. Up. Good. Okay, now see if you can get the filter out. Just reach in, pull it out. There you go. <laughs> Force it. Oh, that's dirty and wet. You got humidity. Something I'd like to do is just take a look inside there with that. See kind of what it looks like. Oh, wow. And then you got to get down and look up. Well, there should be an A-frame, an A-coil, they call it which kind of looks like a radiator on the front of your car. That's where the air blows through to cool itself. Let's go get a filter. We're gonna head off to the hardware store now to see if we can locate the type of filter that we want to put in. Hey Grandpa, I got a few questions to ask. Sure. What kind of filter do you know when to get when you go to the store? Well, most of the time people put in like for like. So if they had one type of filter, they put the same type of filter in. Most people go for a good filter, which is uh, an average of 7 MERV, and uh, that has to do with how much it'll pick up as uh, the dirt goes through. This was a pleated filter, so go ahead and slide it in. Um, uh. There you go. Alrighty, that's it. Your filter's in. Let me give you a marker. I want you to write the date on the side of the filter itself. Now you know when the last time you changed the filter. But check it every month. Uh, if it looks dirty, replace it. It's gotta be snugged up all the way. Okay. That's good. Let's go ahead and we can go ahead and turn it back on one, then the other. And it's on a time delay, so it won't come back on immediately for the whole system. And now we can go back in and turn the thermostat back to cooling. Thanks for watching. Uh, we've got more things to teach you. And uh, maybe you can watch and learn some stuff. Maybe you can learn too. Please like and subscribe below. Have a nice day.